WD18 outside the Vic for a fan cam after the Watford 2 Southampton 2 game. I'm here with Dan and Freddie, both Southampton fans. I'm going to start with you, Dan. It must have been a great feeling at half time for you guys, to be honest. Let's look at the first half first. Well, we don't usually go into the half time at 2 0 up away from home. Um, we've had plenty of games where we've gone into the break 1 0 up, uh, but then we've given the lead away, which has been the most very frustrating thing since we last won. This run of 10 games in the league without a win, we've been giving away the leads. We've had so many points available to us that we've given away, and it hurts even more now that we've given away a two goal lead. Yeah. Um, do you feel, though, that you knew something was going to come after half time, especially with like it was quite a toxic first half in terms of the home fans, and then once we got behind Watford, um, could you tell there was something coming? I, I couldn't tell there was a home support here, to be honest. Yeah. It was so quiet. But look, no, you said as, as an opponent, you can see it. You know, you, you, you can see it coming. This season, we've seen Pellegrino sit on 1-0 leads. We've done it three times, four times this season, sit on a 1-0 lead. This time, we've sat on a 2-0 lead. You know, we're screaming at Pellegrino in the stands saying, go for it. Put another goal in, put it to bed. I thought Ward Prowse and Long were excellent in that first half They as well. were, yeah. Ward Prowse, Long and excellent. The good combination. I mean, excellent work to get up to the two uh, counter -act counter-attacking goals for Ward-Prowse and his first brace in nearly, you know, two, three years. But, you know, Ward-Prowse excellent today, but everyone's screaming at Pellegrini. He's getting a lot of pressure now, you know. It's now, what, one one, nil, one win in, uh, in ten, as you say, you know. It's so, it's not looking good for you guys. Who Who's your next fixture? Is it Everton? We've got Spurs. Spurs. So, you guys got to try and look for something from there. But um, pushing on now for the rest of the season, where do you see you guys kicking on because obviously from from what I've seen today at Southampton they look pretty you guys look like a good team that should probably be in 17. Well first it goes on to uh, going through to the fifth round of the FA Cup and then from there maybe 13th 14th if we're lucky right now I think most fans just want to survive relegation because it's getting that bad. Is that the same for you in terms of like predictions? I think reality is you know yeah we, we have to stay up now and the sooner we sort this mess out, you know, we have to get some more transfers in, some more arrivals in to get us out of this situation. You know, we shouldn't be here. On paper, we've got an excellent squad. Probably the best squad we've seen in the Premier League for the last, you know, 10, 15 years since we've been here. But the manager's messed up big time. And, you know, usually out, outside of Southampton, when the board gives you the backing as a manager, 10, 10 days later, it's usually off. But, you know, Pellegrini needs to sort it out sooner rather than later. Any, any transfer targets you guys want to bring in or people you're looking at, do you think, where, where do you guys think you need to strengthen? I'll go. Uh, I think we need a creative midfielder. Um, I mean, Ward Prowse could be that player. I don't know, he was good, obviously good today. Yeah. We just need someone who's creating more chances, looking a bit more potent up front as well. A forward would probably be... I thought Tadic player. didn't look very good today for you guys. No, like I said to you earlier, he's lazy. Mm. He, he gets silly yellow cards as well for arguing with the referees. And it, he's yeah, just he, got, he got one today yeah. for throwing the ball away. He's just such a frustrating player. So if we could somehow get Walcott, I don't know whether he is the best option, but available Coming right back now. Back to Southampton for him as well. So slight link there from his youth days. Any any positions you feel like apart from that? Uh, yeah, so we need an extra central defender to add a bit of quality there, an extra right winger forward like Walcott. Maybe it's not him, but somebody else. And an extra striker because obviously Charlie Austin's injured. But before I go, yep. I need to add, I've heard a few things. I haven't seen a replay, but apparently Doug Corey handles it. There is, he does handle it to go in. He handles it, and this is an extra yep. point for VAR. You yeah, know? yeah, this fair, is an extra yeah. point for VAR. To be fair, for Watford, early in the season, if we'd had VAR, we could have got picked up things because we've had bad luck in terms of those decisions. So it's, it's, personally, yeah. I feel like it's about time we had something like that. It's, but still, I understand it, as a Southampton fan, that's going to. It swings around about since yeah. Cedric was adamant. You know, he screams over to the referee on the, on the touchline. He's handled it. He's handled it, yeah. and he gets a yellow card for it.